Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Festival goers looking for a last minute getaway after the whirlwind that is Ken Lyons, where the days begin with sweltering treks up and down La Cuisette and end beer soaked late nights outside the gutter bar, need look no further than Monaco. Surrounded by the dramatic coastline of the south of France, the principality is known for its jet set, luxurious vibe, but according to travel guru, Jack Ezon, the destination has something for everyone. Monaco is the perfect blend of elegant and fun, said Ezon, the founder and managing partner of Embark Beyond, a lifestyle partnership specializing in bespoke travel experiences. Monte Carlo is probably one of the most chic destinations in the world with incredible shopping, iconic hotels and beautiful vistas. What makes it so relevant though is the fabulous trendy, lifestyle restaurants, the fabulous nightclubs and super cool beach clubs. Where to stay? The Mayborn Riviera. Just outside Monaco, this chic, modern 69-room hotel, which is built into a cliff, opened in 2021 after the Qatari-owned Mayborn Group poured an estimated 100 million euros into the construction. Situated in the French town of Roquebrune Cap Martin, the property's minimalistic aesthetic draws guests to gaze out towards the yacht-speckled Mediterranean, where stunning panoramic views of the coastline from Italy to Monaco can be seen from nearly every window in the hotel. Guests can lounge at the Mayborn's infinity pool, which overlooks the Belle Epoque Villa La Vigie, where the late designer Karl Lagerfeld once lived, or head to the hotel's beach club. There are three restaurants at the property including Cito, a Michelin-starred, seafood-inspired restaurant perched on the top floor of the hotel, giving jaw-dropping views of the coastline. Hotel Metropole Monte Carlo Just steps from Monaco's famed place du Casino, the hotel was built in 1886 and has undergone a few facelifts including a multi-million dollar renovation by French designer Jacques Garcia in 2004. The 125-room hotel is also located on the most dangerous bend on the F1 racetrack, giving visitors who stay during the race a thrill. Those guests can also swim in the hotel's pool, which was designed by Lagerfeld, as well as its Michelin-starred Japanese restaurant, Yoshi, and Les Ambassadors by Christophe Cusack, which earned two Michelin stars when it opened in 2023. Le Meridian Beach Plaza one of Monaco's few beachfront hotels, the Meridian also is the only hotel in Monaco with a private, sandy beach, a treat for those who prefer sand to the pebble beaches found in the region. The Fairmont Monte Carlo With stunning views of the sea and the Grand Prix Road, the hotel was built in the 1970s over Monte Carlo's railway station and is just steps from the luxury shops of Monte Carlo's Care d'Or or Golden Square. Other Top Picks Hotel de Paris Hotel Hermitage and the Monte Carlo Beach Hotel. Where to eat, drink, dance and more. Hit up the new Amazonico, a restaurant and club with a Latin American flair located at the top of the recently renovated Café de Paris, or grab lunch at the 155-year-old iconic cafe. Another classic Monegasque hangout is Jimmy's, the famed club that's celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, or dance the night away at Moana, an open-air summer cabaret. For a great seaside meal, Izan recommends Club La Vigie at the Monte Carlo Beach Hotel. Other foodie spots include Blue Bay Restaurant and Pavilion at the Hotel Hermitage Monte Carlo. The travel guru also suggests checking out Monaco's insanely glamorous casino and ending your trip with a relaxing spa day at the expansive Thermes Marins Monte Carlo, which overlooks the Mediterranean. Monaco also offers many cultural attractions such as the 114-year-old Oceanography Museum which is cleaved into the side of Monaco's imposing cliff called Le Rocher or The Rock. The Palace of Monaco is also a must-see for those interested in getting a peek at the royal family's digs. Take a day trip. The beauty of being based in Monaco is the ease of taking day trips around the Riviera. Monaco is really in the middle of so much with easy day trips to Cap Ferrat and ease just 20 minutes away, or nice and can less than an hour away, Ezon said. If you're looking to check out St. Tropez, Take a 45-minute helicopter ride for a really next-level vibe, Izan said. Once.